HMO here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider and uh, Vorp X to have 3D VR in your HMD headset. Now, I'm using the Oculus, but this should work just as well in your HTV Vive. HTC Vive, excuse me. Now, this is not scripted, so we're just going to kind of muddle through it here. You'll have to bear with me. First thing you're going to have to get is VorpX. Uh, download it from the website, VorpX.com. It is a $40 program. Uh, there is no free trial, so if you want to do it, you're pretty much going to have to pay for it. First thing after you uh, install VorpX, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start your Oculus Rift which mine is already running. You'll just minimize it. Just leave it up and running. Then you'll want to uh, configure VorpX. Click it, hit config configure. It'll come up on your screen here as soon as it loads. You'll want to go to cloud profiles. If you do not have a profile for Rise of the Tomb Raider, you want to find it. Uh, just type in Rise of the Tomb Raider and you'll see it here it's Rise of the Tomb Raider Warp X I do believe this is the one you want to use you'll want to click it you want to import the profile now it's imported okay you want to come over here to local profile local profiles you want to type in rise rise of the tomb raider and you want to hit apply and close okay vorpex is now preliminarily set up to run this the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to start tomb raider you'll have to go through steam of course i just click it over here First thing you want to do is uh, hit play. We'll want to open the game up. And to begin with, we'll want to start it in mono mode. Just so we can, I can show you how to set up a Vorp X. Once it's in uh, 3D stereoscopic, I cannot uh, load, cannot show you what is Vorp X, the in-game in control panel. So we're going to do it this way. I'm just going to hit continue here to bring the, to load the game in and then we're going to get in our headset and I'm going to mirror mode it and show you the control panel from Vorp X. It can only be seen in your headset. Okay now that we're loaded in standard mode get in your headset. Vorp X the standard key to uh, let me uh, is the delete key just hit the delete key to bring it up I'm gonna I'm going to uh, put it into uh, mirror mode here okay now that we're in the game put your headset on hit the delete key and it will bring up the in-game Vorpex control panel. First thing you'll want to do is you'll want to turn cinema mode, make sure it's off. Go to the next settings. Content type will be normal. Stereo type will be side by side. Now as soon as you do this it will screw up your screen. Don't worry about it. We're going to go back out and restart uh, Tomb Raider in, uh, in, in 3D mode. Uh, it's a little darker in your headset. It varies. Turn the brightness up. Adjust it to your gamma brightness. Saturation is color. Normally you need a little more saturation than it starts at one. I find I don't need to mess with a sharpening amount. For Tomb Raider, you can run it at any setting. I have found that stretch works the best. Now it will look funny now, but believe me, once you have it up and running, it will be fine. Image zoom is up to you, how close you want it to be. 
display settings I have direct mode window mirror full size right now so you can see this control panel but you'll want to run it with it off it just runs a little smoother Passsync render you want on fluid sync you want on direct mode GPU sync make it safest you want to use edge peak it's your middle mouse button once you're in game so you can see all the menus and the scale I use it at 60 head tracking on sensitivity I have at one I don't use roll everything else I don't invert leave it off touch settings I don't use them so just set them so you don't need them I don't use touch I use a gamepad you can use them if you want get mouse gamepad settings you do not want to override it'll ask you if you want to override the gamepad that's no you don't want to head track with the gamepad you'll have natural head tracking from the game itself that's off these are just override settings where you can make keyboard menu settings for your VR uh, settings you don't need to use them once you hit that click OK and save now once you've done that you'll want to back out just hit the exit key back out of your game you'll want to quit game whoops wrong button can't see the keyboard quit game Okay, now we'll go back and restart Tomb Raider. Now, bring up the controls, restart it. Vorpex is ready to go. First thing you want to do in options is you want to turn stereoscopic 3D on, side by side, hit OK then hit play you can go back into your HMD now if you want or you can just use your monitor to set it up first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to uh, go back into options you want to go to display You'll want to, you'll see side by side is on. I use this much stereoscopic separation. Your HMD and your IPD will be different. You'll turn it left and right. You can use your arrow keys on the keyboard to adjust it. Stereoscopic pop out is pretty much how much stereo depth you have. I have it set in the middle. You can adjust it in and out if you want to. Once you have all the changes made, you want to hit apply changes and that's pretty much it your graphics setup will be however whatever your system can run how much uh, how much of the uh, candy I can you want on once you've done that go ahead and back completely out we're actually ready to continue now we can actually go in the game. You can start a new game. If you have one start, it doesn't make any difference. You'll come up with a double screen here. Remember we had it set on mono. Now we're going to want to go into Vorp X and set it to, uh, set it to side by side. See it's on mono when you're in there you'll see it hit side by side and we're all set to go hit OK and save. I use a gamepad works just fine you can now see that we have true 3D stereoscopic 3D in our Oculus Rift headset you can adjust brightness saturation to get the color you want the brightness you want. I don't need to run around here a whole lot. Uh, you will not be able to see the 3D on a 2D screen, but believe me, we have, like right now, the water 
the waterfall here is flowing down my face, which you probably can't see. It is really, really amazing. That's how easy it is to get set up. And that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed.